let's rank all 23 hero equipment from worst to best. This is going to cover everything that's changed from the Druid nerf to the Lava Loon Puppets Edition. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, consider supporting me via my creator code and subscribing to the channel. Let's start off with the F tier, where these are equipment that you really should never be running, starting with the Barbarian Puppets. Honestly, you just should never be using this equipment as it's not going to be strong, it has no synergies, and there's honestly just better equipment in this list. Next up is the D tier, as these are okay equipment, but they're just not worth the investment. So we have the new Lava Loom Puppet starting in D tier. While the Lava Loom Puppet works at lower tunnel levels, it's not particularly strong due to the limited amount of combos it can use, as it forces you to use the Healing Tome, Life Gem, or Rage Gem. Since it's meant to tank, deal high damage, and clean up, other equipment like the Eternal Tome can just do its job better. However, I'd still unlock it, as in its current weak state, it could lead to a future buff. Also within the D tier is the Royal Gem. This ability shares a similar issue with the Lava Loom Puppet. While usable, it's often replaced by stronger and more flexible equipment. In addition, its, its combos are pretty lackluster and oftentimes will be replaced by better abilities to have better combos. As such, healing the Royal Champion will always help out, but other equipment can provide either more damage or even more additional features other than healing. Next is the C tier, where we have equipment with specific niches but won't be run all the time, starting with the Archer Puppets. The Archer Puppets, though not amazing, have a niche in Queen Charge armies. When you don't have the Frozen Arrow, you can pair it with the Invisibility Vial for support, as the Queen will benefit from being invisible along with her Archers. The Hero Boost stats are the main reason to use this in a Queen Charge due to its high DPS increase and HP recovery, which is arguably already better than the Lava Loom Puppets Hero Boost stats. Now we move on to the B tier, where these equipment have strong uses for different attack strategies when used correctly, starting with the Seeking Shield. While not the Royal Champion's best equipment, it pairs well with other options like the Hog Puppets or the Rocket Spear when used correctly. It works with most armies, but its drawback is the limited number of targets that it has. Also within the B tier, we have the Vamp Stash. The Vamp Stash remains a strong ability, especially in air attacks or funneling. However, it struggles to keep your king alive whenever he's inside the base. So his best combos with the Spiky Ball, though it can be paired with the Giant Gauntlet, but it will offer limited value. However, it's still an effective ability when you use it correctly. Additionally, we have the Life Gem staying within the B tier. The Life Gem is a solid ability, boosting the HP of lower HP units like Balloons, Hog Riders, and even Super Bowlers, letting them tank for a little bit longer. It can pair well with the Lava Loom Puppet to match its event counterpart's HP, but the main combo you're going to always run with it is the Eternal Tome for its unrivaled protection. Though, it can work with the Fireball if your Rage Gem is underleveled thanks to the Hero Boost stat of giving it a little bit of damage. However, it is less effective with tanky units as there are just stronger abilities available. Next up is the A tier, where these equipment have strong uses in more instances, but not as strong as the S tier equipment, starting with the Rage Vial. The Rage Vial is a powerful boost for the Barbarian King, amplifying his damage in a short 10 second window. It pairs best with the Giant Gauntlet, but can also work with the Earthquake Boots or Spiky Ball for extra support. However, it's most effective with the Gauntlet, though it can struggle against Tornado Traps or Ice Golem CCs since it can stall the time. In addition, the Haste Vial and Hog Puppets are going within the A tier. These two are often paired together for a pretty deadly combo, especially in ground armies where they provide strong support in the core or the back end, particularly under a rage spell. While they can be used separately with other equipment, they're generally more effective together. However, due to their previous nerf, they can be countered by distraction or splash damage defenses. Moving down from the S tier to the A tier is the Rage Gem. 
With a Druid nerf, the Rage Gem is still a decently strong option, though not as strong as before. It pairs well with the Eternal Tome for support, but struggles with the Healing Tome due to the lack of invulnerability. It's still a very strong equipment with the Fireball, boosting the Warren's attack speed and supporting Smash armies that e either use healers or druids. However, avoid using this with e dregs as it can backfire on you. Also staying within the A tier is the Giant Arrow. The Giant Arrow is a strong ability capable of one-shotting certain defenses, as its best use is with air spam armies like dragons or Edrax, combined with the healer puppets to keep your queen alive for that little bit longer. It can also take out spell towers with two earthquake spells or activating invisibility spell towers from a long distance. Overall, it's a versatile but easy to mess up equipment without preparation. Additionally, we have the invisibility vial within the A tier. This ability remains a strong option, pairing well with the frozen arrow in queen charges or even with healer puppets in smash armies if you lack the magic mirror. Its main drawback is the limited time window, offering only a short burst of DPS, which makes it a little bit less flexible than other equipment. Next, we move up to the S tier, where we have equipment that can be used in a wide variety of strategies and are pretty strong, but not as strong or flexible as the S plus tier, starting with the Healing Tome. The Healing Tome remains one of the Warden's best equipment due to its long healing duration, making it ideal alongside the Eternal Tome in armies like Root Rider Spam, Mass Valkyrie, or even Hybrid. Despite the nerfs in a previous balance change, it's still a solid option, though it faces some competition from other healing units like the Healer or Druids. Also staying within the S tier is the Giant Gauntlet. The first epic equipment is actually still quite powerful, especially when you pair it with the Rage Vial, allowing the king to maximize his splash damage ability. However, of course, it can be fully countered by the Tornado Trap or Ice Golem CC, but it does offer a good alternative to avoid these issues by using the Spiky Ball to provide instant damage Make and it also makes your king very tanky. You can also pair it with the Earthquake Boots for extra tanking and utility, though the Earthquake Boots recent buff has increased the competition for the Giant Gauntlet. Speaking of which, the Earthquake Boots are going to be staying within the S tier. This equipment has become much stronger after its buff. With the extended range and increased damage, it pairs excellently with the Spiky Ball, letting you one-shot almost every building except for the Town Hall, which needs at least one Earthquake spell. However, it will struggle in attacks where the King is not really needed inside the base or where the Earthquake Boots value is quite limited. In strategies like Super Witches or Blizzard Lalo, it can shine by opening up the base for your troops or heroes, offering great value. Moving down from the S plus tier to the S tier is the Rocket Spear. The Rocket Spear remains a strong equipment after the buff, though it's not suited for every army. It pairs well with the Seeking Shield and excels in air spam armies or on the back end of ground or smash armies. However, it struggles to really keep up with Hog or Super Hog and minor based armies, but is still a solid equipment option that is competitive with the Haste Hog combo. And we have the Frozen Arrow staying within the S tier. Though it's not as strong as it was before, this ability is still very solid. It works well with the Invisibility Vial for Queen Charge armies or with the Healer Puppets to help funnel and survive for a little bit longer against single target defenses or used within Smash armies if you lack the Magic Mirror. However, its main weakness is being single target, so it can struggle if the Queen is overwhelmed by damage from multiple sides. And finally, we get to the S plus tier where we have some of the best equipment that you can use in nearly every army or against any base, starting with the healer puppets. 
Healer puppets are incredibly strong, pairing well with almost every queen ability except for the archer puppets. They work well in hero dives, smash attacks, or even in air spam, covering most armies. In queen charges, you can pair them with the frozen arrow to let you bring fewer healers and more troops. While this can be countered by seeking air mines, the self-healing still makes them a great support for your queen. Also staying within the S plus tier is easily the Eternal Tome. This is one of the best abilities for the Grand Warden due to its flexibility as a supportive tool. It's effective with most armies including Lalo, Hybrid, or the Zap Quake Smash attacks, and can also be good to keep your battle blimp protected from seeking air mines or air defenses. Its primary strength is granting that temporary invincibility, allowing units to deal significant damage before or taking hits. Additionally, you can pair it well with equipment like the Life Gem, Rage Gem, Healing Tome, and occasionally the Fireball. We also have the Magic Mirror moving from the S tier up into the S plus tier. This ability has become one of the best for the queen thanks to the high DPS from the additional two queens. Under a rage spell, they can quickly tear down numerous buildings and pairing it with the invisibility spell can keep the cloned queen safe from damage. It can also work quite well with the frozen arrow in either hero dives or even in queen charges and and you can use the healer puppets with it when your queen is within the base for something like a smash army. Additionally, pairing it with equipment like the giant arrow can be good if you want that extra funneling option. Also staying within the S plus tier is the fireball. Now, while the fireball might be niche, and I hear you guys, it packs a significant punch. It's true that it doesn't fit in every army, but it can be incredibly powerful in select armies if used correctly. Things like super witches or rocket loons can easily take advantage of this equipment's destructive power. Pairing it with the rage gem usually allows for sustained support after the fireball deals its damage or combining it with the eternal tome when using a super archer blimp to maximize early value. And finally, within the S plus tier is the spiky ball. Now, I know some of you might disagree about its place, but the spiky ball offers strong combos that enhance various strategies. It can pair very well with the vamp stash in air spam attacks, as well as working with the earthquake boots if you're using your king inside the base. And if you want your king to just be a massive beefy tank, then you can use it with the giant gauntlet. Despite its previous one target nerf, its versatility makes it a valuable asset across many attack strategies. So this is the most accurate list as of now with the new Lava Loom Puppet, so be sure to screenshot it if you want to share with your clanmates. However, be sure to check out this video here as YouTube says it's the best one for you to watch next.